Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on crypto. And like I said in the crypto minute, there is no news bigger than the SEC filing against SEC filing against I'm, and I'm reading the SEC filing at the moment against Binance Holdings Limited, BAM Trading Tech, BAM Trading Services Inc, BAM Management US Holdings and Chang Peng Zhao. Each of them respectively located Grand Cayman Islands, San Francisco, San Francisco, Singapore. So Binance, Grand Cayman Islands, CZ, Singapore. Good luck with that. Um, BAM Trading Services, BAM Management US. When you look at them, okay, you're basically talking about Binance US. They're going after them for the same thing they went after uh, Gemini and Genesis for, basically. Um, the securities that that they say were being sold. And you know what? Let me bring this up for you so you can actually see what I'm looking at. That would probably be better. Be better. All right. So you've got, this is the actual filing. You see when it was filed, all that good stuff. Um, here it is, Binance Holdings, BAM Trading Services, Inc., BAM Management Holdings, Inc., and Champagne Zhao. That's awesome. The page that I'm paying attention to or that I keyed in on very quickly was page 85. And the reason why I keyed in on page 85 is because that's where they list all of this stuff. Now, they only talk about Ethereum as one of the coins is on the Ethereum chain. Other than that, Ethereum is not mentioned. Hold that in the back of your head, okay? Um, let me pull up a little bit more of my notes, and you've got BNB, BUSD, BTC, and I just want to tell you, Binance Coin, Binance USD, which is a what? A stable coin. Uh, Bitcoin was mentioned, but Bitcoin is not mentioned as that's what they're going after. It's just mentioned in the document. Same thing for Ethereum, but Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Filecoin, Algorand, and Cody are all mentioned. And I just want you to look at where they're headquartered or where they're based out of, you know, the, the organizations that had started these these projects. And I say started these projects. Um, these projects are not, in my opinion, securities. Um, going after a stable coin is going to be a problem. I think that's going to be a major problem because then you have to talk about Tether. You have to talk about USD. I mean, uh, Tether and Circle, uh, which is USDC. You have other stable coins that you'd have to talk about. And this is going to cause a crazy uproar, right? An, a, an almost ridiculous uproar, uproar in Washington. And the reason why is because he was given a very stern warning, and I didn't pay attention to it before. He was given, Gary Gensler and the SSE were given a very stern warning to stay away from stable coins. I think I touched on that um, in one of the videos. Here's the problem, though. When I touched on it in one of the videos, I did not mention why, right? I, did, I, I didn't kick in, it didn't kick in as to why. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Lips are feeling a little, little unloved. Um, and now we know why. He was told to stay away from stable coins. And here he is. Because how do you have this kind of a, this kind of a suit? And you don't mention Tether, you don't mention uh, Circle, you don't mention any, any of the other stable coins out there. Any. Um, for that reason alone, I don't put a lot of weight in this case. Because if, if you're going to mention BUSD, you have to mention Circle. You have to mention USDC. You have to mention Tether. You have to mention USDT. How? So you're going to go up against the, the biggest, baddest central, centralized um, exchange in the world. And you're not going to mention anything else. You're keying in on that. They've got more money than Ripple. Period. Hands down, they make more money than Ripple. Love Ripple. I, I really do, <laughs> but Binance has more money. Um, I'm trying to understand the thought process 
a thought process is very similar to what they did with Genesis and Gemini. Those companies did not have the money to fight. Kraken didn't have the money to fight. Binance has the money to fight. And as I look at this document and as I get right here, and then right there, okay, right there, I sit there and I just go, wow, that's, and the way it's worded, the way that they worded this is that there could be more. This is not a finite list, in other words. When you read this document, it is not a finite list. I get it. I get it. You want to you do you want to do something big. Let me flip back. Um, you want to do something big. I, I totally understand. But when you read this document and you see what they're going after them for. There are two things that are making you flail like this, Gary. You're going to lose against Ripple. If you're going to lose against Ripple, you need something else to take the headlines. And I think this was a mistake. It's a very far reaching mistake. The other thing, the other reason that you would do this is because you think you're gonna win against Ripple. Now, here's why I think it's a mistake. If you believe that you're gonna win against Ripple, why did you not mention Circle? Why did you not mention uh, Coinbase directly? Why did you not mention Tether directly? Why did you not mention any of those and other entities Directly. You only listed one stablecoin. A few projects. Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Filecoin, Atom, Sandbox, Decentraland, Algorand, Axie Infinity, and Cody. You mentioned cryptocurrencies and metaverse-based projects. Because you consider them to be securities. <sighs> Again, if what you're going after Binance and CZ for is because they're, you know, offering unregistered securities and they're in the business of staking, that's the main reason right there. Um, how, and you mentioned a stable coin. Either you either your either your mistake was mentioning a stable coin or your mistake was not mentioning all of them. They're all on Binance. Well, maybe not all, but most. How did that's a mistake? One way or the other, that is a mistake. And that's why I'm looking at this lawsuit, at this complaint. Remember, it's a civil complaint. Um, that's why I look at this complaint and I just say, you know, there's something flawed here. There's something flawed here. And the first question, if I if I'm if I'm CZ's attorney, I'm not an attorney, by the way, I'm not. But if I was, my first question would be, uh, so where's everybody else? Where? Where is everybody else? Where are all the other coins that are based on Ethereum? Where are all the other coins that are based on any other chain that's mentioned here? Huh. They're not. They're, they're not anywhere in here. Um, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around Filecoin. Um, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around Solana, Cardano, Polygon. I, I really am. Um, but that that's neither here nor there. But just, but just if you knew nothing, if you knew nothing... The whole point of, of of Congress saying to Gary Gensler, hey, don't touch stable coins. They're actually working on bills and things like that, uh, specifically about stable coins. Now, you can go on some kind of a rant and you can say, well, you know, the conspiracy theory is that they want everybody to be involved with, you know, uh, the CBDC and the CBDC is going to be mandatory and blah, blah, blah. You can go off on that tangent all you want. Don't care. That's fine. Everybody, everybody has a thought on it. I'm just wondering what happened. I really am just wondering what happened. What, what were you thinking? Anyway, that's the news. I'm sure there's more, but that's what was important today. Anyway, you know what we should do? You know, we should actually get into uh, the numbers. 
So let's get there. I don't know what's going on with the big board, but everything is not gray. Gray is a color that's used to mention, to show that everything's unchanged. Clearly it has changed. You're at 25,779 for Bitcoin and 1820 for Ethereum. Clearly things have changed. So we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna dwell on that one. Let me see if I can refresh and see what happens with it. Does it come up properly? No, it doesn't. So, okay, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> what's the next puppy up? Let's look at this. Bitcoin takes a hit. They took a hit yesterday at, you know, 3, 3.68%. Okay, 3% hit. Ethereum took, you know, basically a 2.5% 2, 2 hit. Um, BNB took a 7.26% 7, 7 hit. Cardano took a 5% hit. Uh, Polygon took a 6.5% hit. You see where this is going? The hits that they all took are somewhat less than 10%. If you're if these projects are taking a less than 10% hit and you know my 5% rule, my 5% rule is, you know, a, a move of 5% in either direction doesn't mean anything. It's the combined move within a couple of days that really does mean something to me. It gives me something to kind of look at. So if you go up 5% today, I'm going to acknowledge that you went up 5% today, but I'm not going to pay attention to you all that much. Mm -hmm. But if you go up another 5%, well, that's 10%. That's greater than 10% in two days. Do the math. It's greater than 10% in two days. These projects took a hit, and they've not fully bounced back, but are being strong. Something else that I want you to pay attention to is right there. Let me see if I can highlight it for you. Right there, XRP, 51 cents. When I saw that this morning, when I got up, I kind of sat there and said, wow, you know, everybody took a hit, everybody took a hit. Um, XRP took a hit, 3.97%, call it 4%. But did it really? Because a few days ago it was lower than that. I mean, it was in the 40s. Um, but it's above 50%. It's above 50 cents. And you know that, you know, the 50 cent mark is like the floor. Right now, 50 cents is the floor because it's been existing below 50, 50 cents for a long time. So that was the ceiling and then it became the floor. And it's at 51 cents. Your cash flow positive. If you if you did something like that, like I said, thirty days, you're 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 up ten percent. Seven days, even you're up almost two percent, one point eight five. So XRP didn't take a hit. So I'm just so yes, the the this flailing the the flailing that you're getting from the SEC could be that they they think that they're going to win. Except that 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 complaint is very broad stroked. Very, very broad stroke and misses. If your case is, is you know, you've been selling securities and these are securities, then how are you naming those securities and not other securities? And how are you, and specifically, I key in on if you're naming this stable coin, how come you're not naming other stable coins? Because what you're saying is all stable coins are securities. Good luck. You're also naming entities outside of the United States. Good luck. Good luck with that. I CZ is not coming to the United States. The bigger the bigger signal that I got here is you're trying to chase you chase you know a lot of innovation out of the United States and into the hands of Hong Kong and China, Europe. Compa if the if if the smart companies from here leave. And go elsewhere. You literally, you literally do throw us into the dark ages in terms of innovation. People will start to think about: Should I even be in the United States if I want to do something innovative? There will be more news today, but that was the biggest, and I wanted to really dive in. Anyway, this is Eddie J on crypto. Hope you have a great day. If you have questions. Please ask away. I like to learn. Maybe you can actually correct me on a couple of things. I really do appreciate that because that means you have enough respect for me to teach me something. And I, I love you for that. Anyway, have a good one. Bye-bye.